Scott, just a beautiful night down here on the canal with several people enjoying it. But police have ordered more patrols down here along the canal in recent months. That's because what police say happened here this morning isn't the first time. A couple walking along the canal at 2 a.m., surrounded by four men. Three of them, according to police, had guns, a cell phone, credit card, and cash taken before they run off. I mean, it's a little scary as a somebody who lives around here and uses the canal and walks around here a lot. This woman walks her dog here every day, but never late at night. Unless it's the middle of the day, broad daylight, I'm never out here alone. You just got to be smart. I wouldn't be out here at 2 a.m. You know, alone wouldn't be something I would do. Holly Gold's in town for Gen Con. If she visits the canal more this week, it'll be during the day. During the day, I feel safe. I feel like whatever time we walk or uh, whatever we do, we that's what we, we, we do. We should be still safe at the end of the day. But that hasn't always been the case here, with two armed robberies after dark in March along the canal and another in April. For Kim Williams, this is where he comes for peace. He's got a message for anyone disturbing that. You want to come down here and just mess it up? Like, why? What for? Now, police say the couple in this latest incident wasn't hurt. If you have any information about what happened, you can call Crime Stoppers. That number, 262 tips. Scott. All right, Emily, thanks. And as she mentioned in her story, IMPD has increased their patrols along the downtown canal after those attacks that took place this spring. And when downtown officers aren't on runs, they're being told to check that canal for safety.